In today's video, we're gonna talk about Alpine, Utah. Hi, I'm Brady Summers with Seasons Real Estate. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, and all about living in Alpine, Utah. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and like and subscribe to learn everything about Utah and real estate. So we're out here in front of my favorite house in Alpine. It's currently actually for sale. And I love this house because it's kind of hidden. You come around a bend and all of a sudden right through the tree lines you can see the house. The house is listed for $4.4 million. It's one of the most expensive houses listed here in Alpine right now. The median purchase price for a home last month here in Alpine was $1.4 million. And on the low end, the cheapest home was for $600,000. Now Alpine has about 10,000 residents who live here as of the 2018 census. And those numbers have probably gone up a little bit since then with all the new recent development. Now, what type of home can you expect to find in Alpine? Obviously, you can see based off of the purchase price that homes are quite a bit more expensive here than they are throughout the rest of the state for the average. Now, with that, what do you get? There's a lot of new homes that have been built since the 1990s through through now, and these are sitting on three quarter to a, to a whole acre lot, sometimes even bigger, depending on where you're looking and what you're looking for. Now there are homes that are about 100 years old or so down in the center part of town, and those don't go for sale very often, and there are diminishing numbers of those homes available. Now there's also a lot of homes that were built in the 50s to the 70s. There was a, a boom here, and those houses sit on about a half acre. And once again, those don't come for sale very often. The turnaround rate on those is about every 15 years when the rest of the state's average is anywhere between seven and 10 years. So Alpine is located on the northeast corner of Utah County. It's the furthest northeast you can get in the county. And if you look behind me, you can see that it's nestled up here inside of the mountains. And that's one of the major appeals to the city is the mountains and the views. One of the disadvantages to living here in Alpine though is how far away from you from the city you are. To get to I-15 takes you nearly 20 minutes in either direction. To get to Salt Lake I-15 you have to go through Highland and then Lehigh to where the on-ramp is there at Thanksgiving Point. Going southbound you end up going through Highland and American Fork to get to the freeway. So no matter where you're going Alpine is really far away from the city, which also makes it far away from other cities. To get to Provo takes you about 25 to 30 minutes, and to downtown Salt Lake takes you 35 to 40 minutes. And that really is one of the major drawbacks. So I'm out here in front of Tinnenberg Line Middle School to talk about the schooling systems inside of Alpine City. Now Alpine goes to the Alpine School District and as far as the schools, there are there's three public education schools here in Alpine. Uh, the first being Timberline Middle School behind me here. That's gonna be your grades seven through nine. Um, and then the there's two elementary schools, both Westfield Elementary, which is right here by Timberline Middle School. And there's also Alpine Elementary, which is a little bit further into the heart of the city. Now, if you're gonna live in Alpine, where do you go to high school? They go to Lone Peak High School, which is in Highland, and it's about 10 minutes away from downtown Alpine. The schools here in Alpine are really quite great, but if you wanna go the charter school route, there's also a char charter school here in Alpine. So we're out here at the Alpine Plaza to talk about the type of food you can expect to eat here in Alpine. There's only one restaurant, and it's a Daylight Donuts. So if you want donuts, fantastic Alpine's got you covered they're really good uh, light airy donuts um, you can also get a BYU creamery ice cream here um, but as far as other options for food inside of Alpine there's really nothing as far as restaurants no restaurants have stayed around very long in here other than the daylight donuts and then if you go further into town there is a snow aces snow kit shack that you can get snow cones at in the summer as far as other shopping and everything there is a gas station here so you've got that as an option but there's no real shopping here in Alpine. Alpine is home to the Purple Factory where they make the purple mattresses. You've probably seen their commercials. So that's one thing you can 
come here and you can actually go into their test facility and try out their, their beds. Um, but there's just not a whole lot to do here in Alpine. So I'm out here in Creekside Park, one of 12 parks in Alpine. Now this park has everything from playgrounds to pavilions to a volleyball pit, a splash pad, basketball courts, all sorts of stuff. It's quite a large park here in the center of Alpine. With the parks, one of the things I love about Alpine is the incredible views. So we've talked a little bit about the cons of the city living far away from the freeway and how long it takes you to get anywhere. One of the big major draws and appeals to, to me at least, why I would want to live in Alpine is it's a really quiet city and it's partially because of how far away from the freeway it is. You don't ever have any freeway or road noise like that, but it's also the higher price points, bigger lot sizes, things like that actually drives down how many people live in Alpine. So Alpine City has ordinances on how big the lots have to be and they have to be over a half acre to in order to have housing here. So they can't just build subdivisions with 0.1 acre lots like a lot of the other cities here in Utah are doing. So the houses take up a lot of space. So it just feels really nice, open and big while you're here. I love how mature the trees are. It's just a really great feel when you're driving through. It just feels very welcoming and open. So there's not a whole lot left to do here in Alpine other than there's a lot of hikes you can do up in the mountains. There is a rodeo ground, it's one of the parks here. They do have rodeos. It's a pretty cool little uh, arena. If you're considering moving to Utah and would like the help of an expert to guide you through the process, go ahead and reach out. We'd love to answer your questions and help you in any way we can. We help people relocating to Utah buy homes here all the time, and we'd love to give you some help too.